Hello everybody, Alex on here from Angel Cartomancy. So today I'm doing a video, uh, it's actually a video request of some people who have just seen my new uh, Pelucid Oracle. And as I said, it's a Lenormand deck, 36 Lenormand deck, plus 16 uh, extra cards. So making it a full deck of 52. So the first uh, series of cards is, you know, the classical Le Normand with these beautiful um, paintings and design. You have the card insert, pink card insert. It's very important for me when I'm doing readings. And you have the card number. And these are beautiful when you're going to do uh, a GT Grand Tableau uh, reading because I do a lot of these, you know, for my YouTube and uh, also for my clients. Uh, when they want to see the cards, I take a picture and it fits wonderfully on the screen when you're doing uh, videos like this, if you are, um, you know, a professional reader. So in the second part, there is a 16 uh, uh, card and you have, you know, there is no number, there is no card insert on this, it only has a name, it's bilingual, you have the French there, you have the English there, and you have these cards in extra. Okay, so the question was, what do I do with these cards? But before replying to that, uh, you will also get uh, a beautiful guidebook. Uh, it's bilingual. The first part is in English. You have all the keywords and meanings for all 52 cards, and there is the French. The French part of it and yeah you get you know to know the cards and what they mean so how to use them so there are various ways that you can use them okay so uh, you can actually use only the 36 and keep you know the extra card and not use them if you're you really you know traditional you don't want to innovate in anything you can do that but if you want to kick your reading a little bit more what you can do is like, you know, like in the Tarot de Marseille, you have the major and the minor arcana. So your Normand deck will be the major arcana and the extra card will be the minor. Okay? So you can mix them together if you will. Like, let's pretend you do a daily reading and you get, for instance, um, you know, uh, two Le Normand cards and, you know, uh, and... Uh, one of the extras. So we have the leathers here. So here this can tell me that, oh, my relationship is going to be strong, it's going to go another direction. There is a, a big change coming up in my love life or in my commitment or in my relationship and partnership. So you can use it this like that. Or you can also keep them separate. This is what I like to do. Uh, you will do your readings. Let's pretend uh, someone asks me um, uh, where is my relationship going with John and a female client, she's asking that and I have to pull, you know, I pull the free cards from the Lenormand and I keep my extra cards separate and I just, you know, put them here, down there, and I do the, I will interpret the card for the Lenorma first, and then interpret the extra card second, and then mix them together, you know, in lines to see. So first, uh, I can see that the relationship is going nowhere, you know, the mountain is going nowhere, the tower is going nowhere, the anchor is going nowhere. There is no movement, so where it is going, nowhere it is stagnant. Um, maybe she feels alone in this relationship. Maybe he is keeping him away. The mouth is, you know, as relation can be also. And uh, here what I get. And then in the second line I have the lion, the dream catcher, and the lover. The lion can represent, you know, another man. It can be all. It can also represent great strength and courage, also um, aggression. Okay, and the dream catcher is um, something that, you know, is preventing things to emerge. And the lover is the lover. So I can tell that oh, there may be another man in there that is preventing this relationship to go full, to go into, you know, uh, the lover. And we see that this relationship is targeted because, you know, she is wanting something stable, strong, in her love relationship, 
okay? She uh, doesn't want to be alone. She is preventing this lonely next to emerge, okay? And the great enemy of this relationship is another person, another man. It can be an ex-boyfriend acting like that. So you see how you can get wonderful readings just by you know, doing a traditional normal and then putting other cards there. And you will see that each uh, line will yell the same message. So, a third way, of course I'm giving you, you know, uh, the way that I would work with this card, but this is not the, you know, the, the set way you can use over. And of course I will be glad to see you work with the cards and show me what you do with them. Uh, oftentimes when doing, when you're doing a grand tableau, you will have, you know, the man or the woman on the last line. And, you know, many people get frustrated. Oh, uh, because this is the future. There is no future. Uh, what will I tell my client? So let's, I'm going just to throw quickly a grand tableau. And to reply to these questions, you can use the extra card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, so let me just throw that down. And let me just put... You know these card there okay so that we can get the, the scenario of you know of, of uh, having our current under on, on the line okay so let's flip this in there okay so let me just pull that down and we are going to study that and discuss about how you can use it Okay, our tableau is down, okay? So uh, let's pretend that this person has asked us about, you know, uh, it's a woman who came for a relationship, you know, most of the time there is a lot of love and relationship readings. So she wants to know where her relationship with John is going. Again, let's take the same question before. You know, we, ha we have the same card that obviously, you know, uh, came and so to reply to her question of the future that she has no future so what can i tell and perhaps to understand what is going on in the head of john we need to have some you know some card to to study the the past you know just to get a basis so what we can do so we can use the extra card to have you know a little bit in the future of our current okay and a little bit, let's say, three cards for the past. Mm -hmm. So now you, we, have, we have done the, you remember the, the, the free card reading telling us that, that there was a third party involved in this, uh, in this reading, okay? So we have the, you know, we have the writer, which is also a third party card, just down the woman. We have put it there, but it was, you know, just for the case of the, of the study. So we can see that this man has a past, and her past was another man or woman. He was involved in, you know, in a relationship because the, the dolphins are the card of the soulmate. You know, the soulmate, or it's also the card that represent, uh, uh, like, you know, having a fun relationship, having fun together, it's also, you know, happy time together, togetherness, playfulness, all these good things. And it seems like he is stick to the past, you know. And this person that we thought was a man may be a woman. Okay, it's, it could be a lioness instead of a lion. And for her future, we have the dream catcher again something that is presenting things to emerge remember dream catcher you know they catch the, the the nightmare they prevent nightmare from emerging in your in your dreams so there is you know uh, good things that are preventing bad things from emerging and the burning is a card of fertility it's also a card of abundance okay so this may, you know, may ask the, the client to pray more, to, you know, to multiply, because the brain is also multiplication, to multiply the, the conversation, the, the prayers she has with higher, higher self, with God, to prevent, you know, maybe this lioness to come back again, 
Okay, so this is how you would use the Pellucid Oracle together with you know the extra card that make that really it really gives it a kick. You know, it really gives it a kick. Now you can do a gigantic grand tableau if you want with 52 cards. But, you know, I like my grand tableau with the Lenormand. And I like to put, you know, cards on them just to get a little bit of more um, flavor to it. Okay. So I have another deck. This one is, you know, beautiful, pastel, um, girly, uh, nice, sweet. I really love them because I really want something beautiful. And I have uh, something that is more of a boy taste, <laughs> if I can tell. Because some people tell me, yeah, you do create, you know, things only for women, and we want something that is really boy, um, you know, that makes really male energy. Okay, so for you, beautiful guys, I have created the Indélébile de Normand, which is. As the Pellicid 52 cards, you have the Le Normand and you have the extra card. The symbols are a little bit different from this one to this one because I have used, you know, tattoos to uh, illustrate my work. And for instance, the evil eye is not in the Pellicid, the cactus is not in there, the rooster is not in there, the swing machine, no, no, so the hourglass, uh, the umbrella is there, the pipe. You know, the broken heart of the lost love. So there are some cards that are not in that oracle. And yeah, so you can do readings again. And there, you know, you have card, card uh, insert, you have the number. And these mini decks are really fun. Really, really, really fun to work with, and the extra card really gives it a kick. And for the Pellicid, I also have a very small, cute little deck. So I made these for especially for class, okay? And I have some, you know, I always uh, order some more because I know that people will like them, they will want to to have, you know, one of them. So see, this is the Pellucid, which is a mini deck. And this is the Pellucid Le Normand. It's half the size of the mini. And it is 36 card, 36 card. So I have done this deck mini, very miniature, because we were doing a casting class and I really wanted something that is, that will fit a charm. Okay, for instance, I will, you know, pull the Grand Tableau out because this is a Grand Tableau class and I will take some of my uh, Broloc Oracle, Le Normand Broloc Oracle, and I will throw it on, you know, on the on the GT. And for instance, you have, if I get the, the ring, I know that uh, something is coming forward about a commitment or a deal. Uh, with crossroad, uh, time has come for me to make a decision. Okay, the snake. Mm, I must be cautious because what is coming forward is not that really good. Uh, the garden. Mm, I'm, I'm maybe invited to something beautiful, nice, like you know, party or whatever. So, I have this little miniature deck. Also, I don't have a ton of these. But I have a, a little stock, and they are going to be sold together with the Broloc Oracle, or maybe also with the Le Normand dice, you know, just roll the dice on them, and they're really beautiful. They will come in this little red flannel bag, make it nice and cute, okay? So, Hope that this video had brought you some inspiration and have answered to the most of your question. Of course, if you need any information, please contact me. I'm going to leave my email address there, alexandermustruck at gmail.com. You can uh, write me there and, you know, if you want to buy these little things, I'm, tell you, I'm going to tell you the price and the shipping and everything is done through PayPal. Just, you know, send you an invoice and then you have this little beauty in your email, okay? So, have a great day. It was nice talking to you and sharing my passion and love for oracle cards. And you will see how fun you will get with these little oracles.